Hey everybody, <clears throat> this is a special um, video for Necron players. And uh, this has been an ongoing argument that I've had for, wow, years. There is almost no Necron Tyranid fluff. So I'm making a special video because I don't want you guys to feel ignored. Most importantly, because I think Necrons and Tyranids are joined at the hip. And every time I fight a Necron player, um, it's, it, it's fun for me when I think about it that way. I believe, and this is a theory, or actually it's a hypothesis, but the Necrons and the Tyranids know each other. <clears throat> To be specific, I believe that the Tyranids are the final creation of the Old Ones. Think about it. Uh, there was this big, as they call it, war in heaven millions of years ago. Necrons fighting Old Ones with the Satan and everything like that. But the Old Ones always fought using... Basically, psychics and biological warfare. They created whole species to fight the Necrons. Uh, it's guesstimated that they created the Orcs. We know they created the Eldar. And I believe they created the Frud and, well, just pretty much Lot. We, we, we know they seeded the galaxy with life. And there's even the concept that they weaponized the warp, that they actually created the chaos gods as <clears throat> weapons to be used against the Necrons. Because uh, I know you have some old Eldar fluff where the Eldar used to just openly use their psychic powers. They used to have just raging warp generators powering their their worlds and cities which just with just open rifts into the warp without a care in the world. This is in the older uh, Eldar codexes that now the Eldar couldn't even imagine how could these people even exist? Well, that's because I believe there was a time when the warp wasn't inherently dangerous. There was a time when if you opened a warp rift, demons would not pour out of it. But instead, it would just be warp energy. It, wouldn't, it wasn't innately dangerous. I think the old ones weaponized the warp. They wanted to just open rifts and have this endless amounts of foot soldiers pour out to fight the Necrons. <clears throat> and I believe, specifically because the Smegheads at GW have written no fluff about Tyranid and Necron, that that's the connection. The Old Ones, this is the last race of the Old Ones. They fled the galaxy after the Necrons kicked their butt. Uh, and someplace else, they created their final doomsday weapon, if you will, in the Tyranid. And sent them back to the galaxy to say, okay, now we're going to deal with you guys once and for all. Here is our ultimate bioweapon, the Tyranid. And that is the final cataclysmic battle in the universe, uh, not the universe, in the galaxy. And even by that time, we're talking about after humans are even gone. Because right now they're saying Necrons have millions of tomb worlds. So far, the only other species in the galaxy that has a million plus worlds is the Imperium of Man. Well, we already know if a million tomb worlds woke up, game over for the Imperium of Man. So, 
that's what I believe. I think that's their little surprise ending. We know the Horus heresy is always follow, facing in, oh, humanity versus chaos, and that's what's going to be the end of the, of the galaxy, and I don't think so. I don't think so. I think they're going to have a little twist because everybody's expecting that. I think the twist is going to be that the real threat to humanity is and always was the Tyranid. And that maybe when the Emperor's Astronomicon and <clears throat> War, Wars and Psychic Beacon and really the, the, the Emperor in and of himself is a hive mind, right? He's a gasalt consciousness of, of thousands and thousands of psychers that all killed themselves at the same time 250,000 years ago. And then were reborn in one body, which is essentially a hive mind. Uh, so really, he either called the Tyranid or attracted the Tyranid simply by his existence uh, in his attempts to resist chaos. Um, or maybe the Tyranid were always just heading back here to deal once and for all with the Necron threat. And that's why they eat all the biomatter, because when the final battle begins between Tyranid and Necron, there's going to be no eating of planets, because the Necron have nothing to eat. So basically the Tyranid have to build up their armies build up their war or warriors and organisms and have that massive, massive, massive army to launch against the Necron. And they're not going to do that until they're ready. So really, right now is just the eating. Eating and building and preparing. And when it's done, it's going to be time for the final battle between the Old Ones and the Necrons. That's what I predict is what they want to do with the Tyranid storyline. We'll see what happens in the end and I hope you enjoyed this video because so far I found nothing written about the Necrons and I didn't want you to think that I forgot you guys. So I'll see you next time.